Hey guys, welcome back. Chelsea here from Chelsea Paints. So today I'm really excited because I got my Australian Floetrol in and I've mixed up some colors. I have, let me see, one, two, three, four, five colors. I have a Folk Art Pure Gold and then I have a Blue Artist Loft that I mixed with a little bit of Artist Loft Black and got this pretty dark blue color. Then I have a regular Blue by Artist Loft and then I have a Cerulean Blue by Artist Loft. And then I also have a Deco Art Peacock Pearl. And these are all mixed with Australian Floetrol 80 to 20. So, I'm thinking about doing some kind of swipe. So let me get you down on my canvas and let's get started. Okay guys, so the cell activator that I'm using today is just going to be uh, the Amsterdam Titanium White and uh, Australian Floetrol, mixed 80 to 20. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting paint on the canvas. I'm not gonna do any kind of particular design gonna let me see just gonna kind of spread it on the canvas just kind of maybe try to go in between these lines it doesn't have to be perfect by all means this is not going to be perfect i've actually never even done this before so i don't know what's going to happen <laughs> it's my first time pouring with australian flow drop i do not know what's going to happen so we're going to find out together Probably won't need all this paint for this canvas. Definitely won't. <laughs> this one is so pretty, this metallic -y one. Peacock Pearl. I am so excited. I don't know what this is going to look like. Shall be interesting. Man, it is so hot in here today. The heat index is like 115. <laughs> so I've closed all my blinds. Trying to work with little light as possible. I'm gonna go in here with some gold now. Probably more than enough paint. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna kind of spread it out a little bit. And they just fell off the table. So I'm just gonna kind of get it to the edges. Make sure my my corners are covered. No particular way I'm moving this. Just want to be sure all my edges are covered.
Yeah, it looks cool just like that. <laughs> Pretty sure I got all my corners. Let me just go around the table. And there's a little bit showing right there. All right, that looks good. There's already cells coming up. That's a good sign. I'm actually looking for cells today. So that's cool. Very cool. Should have put on gloves. But a little late for that now. <laughs> okay. Um hmm. I'm gonna go in there with some cell activator now. I have a little bit of cell activator left over from the other day, so I'm just going to use that. It's gonna come across. And then I just have this like plastic thing that I'm gonna swipe with. It came in a, a package and there was actually a lot of it. So cut up some small pieces and some medium pieces and some large pieces. So it's flimsy. It's, it's a little bit um, sturdier than like the paper sheet protectors, but it's still kind of got some body to it. So. Okay, so I'm gonna put this halfway down my white strip and then just lightly pull it. Wow. Talk about sales. Whoa. This is so cool. I'm so excited. Okay. I need to come back and get this edge over here. At least try to anyways. Oops. Okay, that didn't work how I thought it would, but I guess there's not enough paint right there. That looks so cool. Look at all those cells. Okay, that's super cool. Okay, I'm going to come in here with another line. Maybe I should do a little bit more my paper. Why can I just cut this? There we go. I just like cut it, make it smaller. Let's see. Okay, I went a little bit, oh, more than halfway on that one. That still looks pretty cool. This might take a while to do, but those results look freaking awesome. I tell you what. Okay. I think I'm gonna try to Hmm. 
go in there. And get that strip right there because I completely missed that. And I don't want that there. So let me see if I can. I don't know. Fix it. Crazy that they, look at all these cells that are already coming up. Like I haven't even swiped that stuff yet. Crazy. Definitely should have wore gloves because this paint is all up in my nose. So I'm wiping this off every time. I have a paper towel over here that I'm just getting the, uh, the paint off with. It looks cool. Keep managing to miss a piece like every single time. This Australian flow trial, I tell you what, and the Amsterdam paint, it's the way to go. Oh, that's my new cell activator that I made today. I'm going to try to get through <laughs> the cell activator from the other day first.
crazy. Um, I think I lost one of my little plastic things. some of this. Just kind of bringing that white over my colors and smearing it down. Okay. I... Okay, I'm gonna turn it around so I can get the other side. Try to make a line like this big now. Let me see. Well, I guess I'm supposed to. I think I just swipe, pull that light over. Let's see what happens.
This should be interesting when it's dry. I'm excited to see what it's going to look like. Right there, I took some of those cells with me. <laughs> On the other side. Those are nuts. I'm so happy I don't I haven't I didn't have to use any kind of like silicone. Crazy. Okay, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more. Just because I don't have a whole bunch right there. And then over here. Pretty cool. So I want to know, have you guys ever used Australian Floetrol for a swipe? I'm curious because this looks cool. If you have and you have a video, I would love to see it. I'm all about learning new techniques. I literally want to try everything. <laughs> I almost didn't even want to swipe this because I like the way it looked <laughs> even before it was swiped. But this looks too cool. I think I'm going to tilt it a little bit now that all of my, my swiping is done. Just because I, I want to see what that will look like. Maybe I'll take you guys in for a close-up right now before I tilt it. Okay. So this looks pretty cool. I'm sorry about all the glare. But would you check out? There we go. Let me turn off the light above me real fast. Okay. Look at all those cells. Nuts. The way the, the colors are just like stacked up inside the cells. It's so cool. Okay. This is the right corner. Top right corner. Top left corner. Down the middle. Wow. This is some Julie Cut stuff. <laughs> I am super proud of myself. Check this out. <laughs> Pick it up and let it go up a little bit, only if it's all moving together. Come on.
I feel like there's a lot of paint in here. I always overdo my paint, so I'm not surprised if there is. I just wanted to go over that edge a little bit, but not look, not look like it's like stretched out too much. I'm gonna like stuck with it. There you go. I'm gonna go around and make sure that's doing what I want it to do. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna tilt it towards me a little bit to get that back this way. This has to be one of the coolest paintings I think I've done. <laughs> I'm gonna get it to go over, but it's not letting me move and that's getting all stretched out already over there. Come on. Stretch out. There we go. Pull it over. Come on. Mm. It is not wanting to go over this edge. There, it's like coming a little bit over here. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna mess with it anymore because I really like the way that looks. Mm-hmm. Hopefully I can get more paint on my shirt. paint down and just wipe it again but I don't know if I feel like doing that. I think it looks pretty cool. I think I'm done. I'll go ahead and take you guys in for one more close-up after I get my hands cleaned off here. <laughs> Alright guys, let's see. Here's the bottom left corner. And the bottom right corner. It's probably one of my favorite spots. And my least favorite spot is right above it. <laughs> Top right. And top left, that looks pretty wicked too. All right, there it is. Y'all let me know what y'all think. If you've tried 
doing a swipe before or any kind of pour with Australian Floetrol. I would love to see it. Go ahead and subscribe if you guys haven't already, if you like what you see. And yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like whenever it's dry. Thanks for watching.